Ruiz. When we think of a signature, we imagine a swirl of letters that are composed together to represent a unique trait. Our signatures may not always be perfect or beautiful, but it captures our essence and uniqueness as individuals. It is so representative that at times it is even legally binding. However, unlike our inadequate traits, a divine signature exists in the natural world that is so perfectly symmetrical, purposeful, and beautiful that every aspect of nature bows down to its superior composition. It is so effective that its implication is found throughout human civilization from the construction of iconic structures to masterpieces created by world-renowned artists like da Vinci. This divine signature is known as the Golden Ratio. The Golden Ratio, also known as the Golden Section, Golden Mean, Divine Proportion, or Phi, is an approximate ratio to 1.618. To put it simply, when a line is divided by two parts, the longer part A divided by the smaller part B is equal to the ratio of 1.618. Although it appears that most ancient civilizations had knowledge of the golden ratio merits, it was made famous in the world of mathematics with the Fibonacci sequence. Essentially, the numbers in the Fibonacci sequence is a sum of two numbers that precedes it. So, the sequence goes as follows. 0, 1, 1, 2, 2 plus the previous number equaling to 3, 3 plus the previous number is equaling to 5, 5 plus its previous number equaling to 8, and so on and so forth. These numbers are also considered irrational numbers as they cannot be represented as terminating or repeating. Despite this unusual pattern, the Fibonacci sequence reveal a spiral sequence which develops into a beautiful growing symmetry. With each higher number in the sequence, the sum of proportions numbers ratio with the previous sequence always grows closer to the golden section of 1.618. These mathematical numbers have long been appreciated for their charm and beauty, but no one can really explain why they are echoed so clearly in the world of nature, such as in the floral disk of a sunflower, to the perfect mystifying symmetry of a nautilus shell, to a perfectly neat pack sequence in an aloe vera plant spiral. We also find the sequence in how a galaxy steadily expands and in the way of a hurricane spiral. This perfect symmetry and sequence can also be found in the DNA molecule, with the measures of 34 angstroms long by 21 angstroms wide for each full cycle of a double helix spiral, equaling to the ratio of 1.618. It would be impossible not to find this divine number in nature. Allah's words are marvel the mind as he says, On earth are signs for those whose faith is certain, and also in yourselves. Will you not then see? Surah ad dariyat verses 20 to 21. So in the verses, Allah is saying there are signs on earth and in ourselves. If we look a little closer within our own bodies, these signs become clearer. Dr. Stephen R. Marquette is the world's most recognized expert on facial features and beauty. He has studied human beauty for decades in his practice and has concluded that beauty is not only related to fee, but asserts that the golden ratio defines both genders for all races and cultures irrespective of time and change. The human face communicates an incredible range of emotions which are essential to one's total beauty. 
the human face conforms most closely to fee proportions when we smile. Dr. Marquette says in an interview, "It does seem to occur throughout nature in many biological systems, including flowers, and in leaf divergence from a stem in plants, and particularly in humans." In an ideal human body, for example, Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, the distance from the bottom of the foot to the navel, in comparison to the distance of the navel to the top of the head, is also a ratio of 1.618. Even from our shoulders to the tip of our fingertips, follow the ratio to a T. All our finger sizes are different, yet. Due to the golden ratio and spiral sequence, we are able to close our fist as tight as possible with all our fingers aligned as if they are the same size. We are able to do so much intricate work with our hands, like working on our laptops to casually picking up grains of sand on the beach. We never think about how much math and mechanics goes into our everyday movements. This is why Allah says repeatedly in Surah Rahman. Which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Thus, not only this ratio is representative of what is considered inherently beautiful in our eyes and creates a complex arrangement of harmony, it also increases the efficiency and functionality in designs in living things, in natural elements, as well in objects. That imitate the golden ratio proportions. For example, in robotics, it was found that the efficiency of robot arms are significantly achieved when the golden ratio measurements are inserted into the design. The astronomer Kepler was very interested in the golden ratio. He said geometry has two treasures. One of them is the golden mean. He considered this ratio a precious jewel that we needed to value. In relation to this divine proportion, we find Allah says, "If you tried to count Allah's blessings, you would never be able to number them. Surely Allah is all forgiving, most merciful." Surah Al-Nahl, verse eighteen. If we look at this verse a bit more closely, something amazing is found. This verse has ten words with exactly thirty-nine letters. If you count the letters in the verse, if you tried to count Allah's blessings, you would never be able to number them. You would find twenty-four letters. Compare that with the second part of the verse: "Surely Allah is all forgiving, most merciful." You get fifteen letters. The ratio that emerges from this comparison is 1.6. If you reflect here a little more, it is apparent that Allah is comparing the word blessing with the golden ratio, as His blessings cannot be counted just like the golden ratio, which cannot be counted since the golden ratio is an irrational number. Just like the golden ratio never ends, Allah's blessing is also infinite, and we could never count them. Essentially, the signs are clear to those who use reason, intellect, and reflection. The fact that we find these ratios and sequence countless times in our world and within ourselves, it is indeed a sign that the mind behind these reoccurring proportions is just one. Like the artist who places their signature or their unique symbols on the edge of their paintings, Allah is placing His divine mathematical imprint in everything, for us to know that indeed He is there and aware of us, and that nothing is in vain. It is simply undeniable that these ratios are nothing but beautiful, purposeful, and devised perfectly for life to flourish. Which depicts the immeasurable compassion and mercy of the One who made it all come together.